Hi Gemini's, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Y'all know it's an open conversation. Whatever they want to talk about, whatever these cards bring out, that's what we're talking about. This week we're trying out a new deck. It's a Maruk X. You can find them on Etsy. Uh, and I'm also using Cosmic Tarot. This week I'm leaving... Uh, all the message decks open for whatever deck your person puts energy on. That's the deck we're going to talk with. Yes. Y'all know these readings are meant to give you confirmations of the things you already intuitively know and sense about your person. If that's not happening, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I picked up the energy there. Let's see who's coming forward for my... Gemini's this week whose energy is the strongest. Let's get them to share with us with these cards what their perception is of what's going on in your connection. Now remember it's from their perception and everyone's perception feels real to them whether you see it in a different way. Whatever they bring out it's real to them because it's their perception. Fatal event. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me get my glasses on. I am have to use my granny glasses on this red print. I'm sorry for what I've done. There's not a whole lot I can say. Fatal event. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what else is coming out from their perspective. Gemini's person. Tell us some more here. Divine timing. Trust in the perfection of divine timing. I'll hold it where y'all can see it, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, divine timing. To me, that's an indication they're hoping that, you know, we're fated to be together and that we are going to be together. Then we've got soul contract. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill. Soul contract. Wow. Okay. Ooh, okay. Let me get the granny glasses off, guys, so I don't want, uh, make my vision blurry. <laughs> With this fatal event, guys, just know sometimes, you know, this could actually be your person. Either they're telling me uh, they've done something they're really sorry about and that they regret, or it could be the opposite. It could be actually something you done. So... I don't know till we get deeper into the reading. And like I said, use your intuition because if it resonates, you will know. Some Somebody feels like we are destined to be together, fated to be together. The soul contract, there was lessons to learn. To me, it's an indication that we, uh, your person's believing in simplest words is you've got a twin flame connection going on. But there is a lot for each of us to learn, especially for them. They were meant to learn something by whatever this fatal event was. Let's jump into the tarot. Let's see what they want to talk about on that fatal event. What will they tell me about it? Let's just talk about the fatal event. I'm sorry for what I've done. Hmm. There's not a whole lot I can say. <laughs> I hope there's something you can say about it. Yes. Tell me. We've got a King of Cups, Scorpio energy, my Gemini's. Whether your person is a Scorpio or not, this is an indication right now they're talking about em emotional maturity. Trying to see things with emotional maturity and not be triggered. Making uncomfortable decisions, a two of swords, at a crossroad in a balance, in the, you know, it's two, the twos are about balancing. Um, crossroads, hard decisions, things like that. Change, it brings in change and balance in that new change. And sometimes, in like the, if we got the Two of Cups, it would be compromises and sacrifices that we make. Tower moment. There, ooh, uncomfortable decision about a tower moment. That fatal event, that destruction. And fate, the will of fortune. So this person is definitely retrorating back over Whatever this tower moment was, that fatal event, it was it was meant to happen for a reason. They're looking and they're saying there was a reason for it. If you did something, 
uh, to them, if you stepped out on them, whatever it was, whatever that fatal tower moment was, this person is saying, they're in their mind, they're reasoning and logic and being logical about it of, there was something for me to learn to grow from. If it's something they did, they're still doing that because they're trying to hold on to emotional maturity here and see things in a deeper, deeper level. Uh, our Scorpio King dives deep into, you know, what compels humans to behave and act the way that they do. Uh, all of our cups, water energies, um, <clears throat> the intuitive part of them, they know what... Uh, the shadow is of most people. They can naturally pick it up, even without the person saying anything. Body language will tell, tell a Scorpio or a Cancer or a Pisces uh, what's going on deep, deep in that person. Uh, and it it's also about compassion and understanding. Mm -hmm. So we definitely got somebody that is making made un, making uncomfortable decisions. They're not sure about things with that two of swords that, about the tower moment, how it's affecting, but they feel like it was fated to happen, so that there was that lesson to learn, a soul contract, and sometimes that soul contract can indicate uh, let, um, karma karma from past life. So yeah, let's hold our king out here. Let's see what else they're going to say. Let's go over in on that divine timing. Divine timing. Let's talk about that one. It's for my Geminis. My Geminis. Oh, they're overwhelmed. We're trying to make choices. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups. Virgo Hermit. Introspection. And then Inner Demons. So somebody is right now. They're not quite sure what they need to do. I don't know what to say. It's that kind of thing. What come in on the card, I don't know what to say. They really are, but they are doing a lot of soul searching and diving deep into their own shadows of, uh, you know, inner demon energy. Introspection. They're taking this as a spiritual lesson, whatever it is. What else do you want to say on the divine timing? Feeling stuck right now, but seeing things from a higher perspective. Ow, the four of four of wands milestone. They've hit a milestone when it comes to their way of thinking and believing in how serious they take committed relationships. Mm -hmm. Because this is about coming to coming to a a new level of understanding and really feeling honor and respect. The honor and respect. If they did something, then, then, you know, that fatal event, that tower moment. It's like I said, they're coming into some emotional maturity of where they're connecting and able to look at what the consequences of their actions has done to someone else. And it's woke them up of... Uh, that golden rule, do unto others as you want done unto you, because that's what's done. They're they're actually stepping into some empathy of being able to feel someone else's pain and see through their eyes. The same thing we're trying to do with these readings, you know, from someone else's perspective, their feelings. So this person has definitely woke up. They've hit a milestone on their spiritual growth, but it's also changed the way they feel and think about committed relationships and not being so careless with the people that they love, with those people and their emotions. Because mm -hmm. it's a milestone and it's about honor and respect. Ooh, this is deep, Gemini's. Guys, wow. But your person is overwhelmed right now of, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, that kind of thing. Let's see the soul contract. Let's come to talk a little bit on that one. The soul contract. Tell me about the soul contract. This is for my Gemini's person. Right here. Hope for the future. Mm hmm Leap of faith. Give me a chance. I know it's a risk, and I know what we've manifested. We got a seven of pentacles here, y'all. <laughs> y'all know. I'm always blown away by cosmic tarot's seven of pentacles, because it's like, look what kind of harvest we brought in off that barren ground. 
broken pieces of everything. <laughs> so this person is willing to put in time, energy, and effort. Uh, they are saying what they've manifested, you, what you've, patience and energy you put into the connection, they ruined it. That You didn't get much back, did you? Everything was broken. Yeah. This person is now saying that they woke up to realize what they've done. And regardless, if you are with this person, stay with this person. If y'all are separated, it was a profound lesson for your person. Especially because I'm picking it up as it was them that caused the tower, that fatal event. They've learned a valuable lesson they're going to carry into their future with them. Not just in romantic relationships, but it's this is a life lesson they will learn how to honor and respect every relationship partnership that they're in family friends it's, it's caused a big change it's caused them to wake up and mature and has them in being able to connect and take a moment and step back and see and consider things from someone else's perspective it's a big wake up call for them but the, with this one it's definitely i feel like uh, the future, they risk it, risk, put a risk on it. They took a chance on something that was risky and they ruined it. They ruined it. But it's also telling me they're holding out hope for the future that we, you know, we could work through it, build through it. See what else they want to say. Five of Pentacles, feeling like they're a disappointment and that they're being left behind, having anxiety. Their total focus is on you right now with that Queen of Wands, our Divine Feminine Aries energy. She's our influence, our main influence. Think of her as the sun, the light of the sun, and how a sunflower will turn its face to, to watch the sun, to, to absorb the sun. But this person is, like I said, they're, they're trying, they're holding out hope and optimism for the future in your connection. But they do feel disappointed, left behind. You're the total focus right now. You're the big influence for them right now. What else do you want to say? What else? I'll roll card. So, yeah, they're trying to accept that whatever occurred is probably caused uh, an ending. But it's a, the world card is also about a triumph. So it's letting me know that even, like I said, even if you don't uh, end up with this person, y'all end up together, they've learned something very valuable from it. Uh, what what has occurred, they'll carry forward into their life and it will serve them well. I don't know how else to put that in every relationship. But it's, this is also, like I said, they're holding out hope for the future and hope for because there's a big change they've changed they've transitioned and left their childish ways to step into a more mature honor and respect the people you love mm -hmm. how big lesson for this person let's go ahead and put these back in the deck get your person to focus in on what deck they want to uh, talk with and we'll pull the messages Let's see what deck they want to, want to start with here. Where's our energy, please? Ooh, we're getting two, two. I can feel it on both of these. We're getting the shadow side of the roses and the butterfly. Let's go with the butterflies first. Let's let them talk with this one. It's just for my Gemini's person. Whatever he needs to say. Let's talk on that fatal event. What words do you want to bring out on that? I feel so intimidated. I don't know if I can let you in. What else? Is it really over? What else was there? Sometimes you make me really mad. Oh. Let's move over to the Divine Timing. I feel like you, you are rushing me. Mm, I got a sense of that would be more of them admitting they they might have been rushing you or feel like they are trying to rush you. They don't want 
because I'm getting the sense they don't want to rush you into anything or be overbearing pushy. I didn't follow my heart. I will fight for us. I will do whatever it takes. Let's move over to the soul contract and then we're going to uh, switch off decks. I want to, a new beginning. I want a new beginning. I'm sorry. What else? What else? Is there anything else? Yeah. I didn't realize how much I love you until it was too late. Yeah. Big lesson. That one's one to take serious of them. I want to make this right. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's pull our roses out. Let's see what else they were wanting to say here. It's for my Geminis. You're too beautiful. That's an a, a intimidating statement. I feel intimidated by your looks. Everybody wants you. I'm not good enough, that kind of thing. I'm healing old traumas. The timing just wasn't right for us. When I hear, I was too childish. What else? I want you so badly it hurts, but there are too many reasons why I shouldn't. And sometimes the reasons can be at their own fault, not reasons with you guys. I can't be who or what you want me to be. I'm hearing it in present tense. Like, I couldn't be who and what you wanted me to be. Thank you for still loving me. Oh, my Geminis. Mm. Guys, hold the energy on this deck. We might need it again. Let's go ahead and go back to the tarot. Let's see what else they want to bring out and talk to us about right now. My Geminis, what else you want to talk about? Bring it down so I can keep memory in what cards we got up there. I'll honor and respect the Four of Wands coming in under that fatal moment. Like I said, whatever that was, they, they have learned some lesson from it. Oh, under, what did we get up here? What was that one, guys? Divine Timing. We've got our Taurus King of Pentacles. Oh, they've been grounded. Uh-huh. Big time being, being grounded. Slow, practical, and being realistic. And Princess of Cups over there under the soul contract. That's our page of cups. Love, love, love. Just overdone with love. Y'all know that youthful, when you fall in love, your re logic and reason just flies out the window because it feels so good. Uh, but all you know is you love. Let's go and talk just a minute on that one. King of Swords, they're coming in, uh, their way of thinking is most definitely has changed because we you remember we got them on a King of Cups uh, on our first round up here. So they're definitely waking up to, and they're hoping to get recognition for they have matured and they have learned a great lesson <clears throat> about honor and respect and hoping that you'll recognize they hit hit a milestone in uh, maturing. I don't know how else to put it. Coming, coming to their senses kind of, you know, let me take responsibility for my actions. See what they want to say on my Taurus King. We've got Six of Wands, Victory. They feel like they, yeah, there's a victory. A lot of times with the Six of Wands, the thing about the card is we're in spotlight energy. We've, we've progressed, we've uh, made progress on something, but it tells us to have a, the grateful heart of all those that helped us to get there. So there's a sense of gratitude coming in here, but it's still coming back to your person with this one and this one, spotlight energy. This one's wanting recognition, and this one also is wanting to be seen for something. Seven of Cups, they feel a little bit overwhelmed right now. Mm-hmm. That they're coming back to, I don't know what to say or do, and they're trying to make hard choices, uncomfortable choices. The fact that we got these, the, uh, the positive side of a Seven of Cups is you see there are different options available. With that one coming in, the Two of Swords, 
it, it has your person coming out of their comfort zone, their routine. They've breaking habits, and but they are actually, you know, the change, acclimating change in the way they think now and what they're believing now. So it's, it's causing them to act in a different way out of their normal comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they say on this Princess of Cups because that's emotionally vulnerable. Oh, seven of wands. That's courage, courage <clears throat> block and protect. Uh, Capricorn devil energy. They're definitely fighting their inner demons to not lapse back and learning the lessons with that Virgo Hermit again. Mm -hmm. What am I hearing? Just with these two cards, because a lot of times it's not just about standing up for yourself and protecting yourself but it's about being valiant valiant to where you protect others that you love and you feel like you know they need somebody to stand up for them and that's that's the sense i get of protect you know they've learned their lesson to protect to not allow their own inner demons because they are stepping into that spiritual that spiritual insight on that virgo hermit Ooh, they would be like protecting the people they love from their own demons and their own behaviors where they were careless before Ooh, it's a profound change your person has gone through and like I said, whether or not you end up together, Geminis, just know this person feels like they've been blessed. Blessed by having you in what occurred. It woke them up. Mm -hmm. But they are holding out hope. Definitely holding out hope that you'll be able to work through it and that you will see and recognize the change that's occurred within them. It's a long talk. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles again. Emperor, more mature. Hope you see it. Oh, you're in recognition again. Wow, okay. So, yeah, they're hoping that you will see that uh, you'll be understanding. But also patient. Patient with them. If you're still in the connection, just be patient with them. Because they're saying they, they have woke up to realize in, in their values and what they have been doing. Uh, it has changed. Our Emperor, like I was saying over here with that Seven of Wands on our Princess of Cups. Our, uh, protective, protective, not of self, but protective of others to value, cherish, and honor the people that we're in. Committed relationships and partnerships with the people that we love. So they definitely want the recognition Hoping you'll see it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and let them talk. Let's uh, see what deck they want to pull to talk with. It's for my Gemini's person. Is there energy out there? We are getting the roses. <laughs> the light side of the roses. We're going to take it. Oh, hold on. I'm getting chills up my back. That means there's a deck behind me. <clears throat> I got it. I got it. Soulmates in separation. Let's let them pull from this one first. Then we'll go to the raises. See what they were wanting to say. It's for my Gemini's person. Whatever you need to say with this one. It's coming on that four. Four of wands, please. I love you more than anyone but failed to show it. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else on that one? right here I regret my past mistakes and wish I can have another chance with you Aww. let's come in on that king of pentacles that Taurus energy of you can now depend on me or become steady reliable faithful mm -hmm. that's what Tau Taurus king brings in I know I failed you and let you down big time one more here my heart was blocked. I was not available to receive your love when you gave it. We've got one more. This is not the way I wanted things to end. I wish I could go back in time. Let's come in on that Princess of Cups. 
My pride and ego led us astray. It wasn't you. It was me. I am to be blamed. I accept fault for this. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Yeah, there is right here. I'm scared you will not accept me now. Mm -hmm. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's go ahead and let them talk real quick with our roses. What do you want to say with the roses? Swan Gemini's. Gemini's. Here we go. There is no one else that knows me the way you do. I can't think straight around you. Not right now, anyway. Yep. We have shared many past lives together. The contract. I wasn't expecting to fall so in love with you. To hit a deeper level of love. To wake up like this. Mm -hmm, that's what I'm hearing. Because they feel like there's a profound change. Over here. My whole being, body, mind, and soul is attracted to you. Too many obligations stand in the way. Please be patient with me. Over here. Ooh, right here. Let's just have fun. Lighten up a little bit. Have some. That could actually be, what am I hearing? Like, could we spend some just fun time together? Like, socialize? With, yeah, without focusing in on past. I was not looking for something like this. Mm -hmm. What did they say? They didn't want things to end the way they did. Because you are my destiny. Ooh, guys. Let's push up. Let's get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you some final messages from. Let's see what they want to say. Final messages. Gemini's person. Oh, we getting it on the shadow of conversation with counterparts. Take it. It's my Gemini's. Third person. Whatever you want to say. I want to come in from the cold. Can we start over? I promise you're not alone. I'm making my way back to you. Please trust me. I'm afraid of losing you. Anything else? Last shuffle. Yep, yeah, there he is. I'm afraid of being vulnerable. <clears throat> I'm afraid of loving you as fully as I do. I made a mistake. Last one, guys. I need time to heal from past pain. Wait a minute. There's one hiding back here. This is our last one. Let's put the past behind us. Ooh, Gemini's, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless me.